I had a few questions on how to downshift the 87 without a clutch, and I guess I can kind of show you uh, talk you through what I'm doing. Uh, so I don't use the clutch. I think it's uh, a little more dancing with the feet. Uh, so I don't use the clutch to downshift. So what you want to do is kind of just roll out of clutch or the gas coming up to this corner so you come out of it you're going to take it out of gear you're going to want to put it into your next gear and it's not going to go in until you give it enough throttle to where the transmission speed is going to match your engine speed so if i step on the throttle here it's going to go into second gear when that those two speeds are matched and you can do the same on upshifts it's going to take a minute for the speed of the engine to come down to match the speed of the transmission but you can do it on upshifts too so you take it out of gear and it, it won't show in the sim well until there uh, but if I throw it in the third gear it's not gonna go in now because we're now the engine speed is too low so if I step on it a little bit it'll go into gear again so you can do it up or down um, I do it on the downshifts because it's quicker, I think. On the upshifts, you're having to wait for the engine speed to come down. But here, you know, clutch it up in the third, clutch it up in the fourth. Coming to the top of the hill here, just going to roll out of the clutch, throw it in the neutral, step on the gas, and throw it into the lower gear. And it'll it's going to go. Um, and if it doesn't go didn't give it enough throttle for the engine speed to come up to match the transmission speed. That's the whole game. You're just trying to get the two speeds matched so it's going to go into the next gear. There's other cars that you can do this with. They're all, I'll throw up a, a, a image they're all the synchro mesh cars, so any of the synchro mesh cars operate in the same behavior. They say they require the clutch to use or to shift the gears, but that it's not true. You can do the same thing. You're just trying to match your engine speed with your transmission speed together. There's a uh, there's also dog bo or dog box transmissions. Those don't require the same amount of effort once you take those out of gear and throw it into the lower gear or the higher gear they're going to go into gear they're not like this delayed reaction uh, where the engine speeds have to match or the engine and transmission speeds have to match they're much more refined uh, and you can search up on them if you're interested in that but yeah that's how I uh, do my clutchless downshifting. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.